I discovered a zero-day bug that puts autonomous vehicle users at risk. Call the team. I think you'll want to take this. Lisa just found out back door. I found a vulnerability in your proprietary mobility stack, enabling unauthorized remote control over Bluetooth. Your AVs are unsafe. My crew engineered a free software patch that disables Bluetooth access to the onboard software. Who are you? I'm David, a.k.a. Colonel Forge. We're publishing in 24 hours. Everybody out! I have a job for you. I'm running the final test now. I'll upload it from the secure network at the lab. ETA, half hour. You're never gonna believe what's going on. What? I laid my bike down. I got run off the road by another biker. I'm in an ambulance, one of those new autonomous models. We were on the way to the hospital, but someone has taken control of the vehicle remotely. I've got your location. Whoever's doing this has to be close. The same biker that ran me off the road is right behind us. I'll be there in two minutes. Police arrested the mysterious rider. It turns out she was hired by Decepticor. They knew about the bug. It was a backdoor designed to open up a lucrative aftermarket in the private security industry. Decepticor was putting millions of users at risk. Everyone should have the right to run, study, fix, and share software they use, especially when it's a matter of public safety. Proprietary software poses unacceptable risks in a world of increased dependence on automated systems. Help create the future we want. Join the Free Software Foundation.